We got our final race weekend of the season underway in a very usual fashion with Norbert Kish and Sasha Lenz on the front row of the grid. But everybody piling in behind them would try to do their best to stop Norby being able to take the championship in the first race of the day. And straight off the bat, Sasha Lenz showed us all exactly what his intentions were. Outbreaking Norby into turn one, he lost a bit of the overlap into turn two, but very quickly he would snatch it back again through the first game. The number 30 truck going into the lead very early on. A little bit further back, Rene Reiner had had a lot of contact and was smoking like mad with all of the bodywork flapping around and hitting the tyres. And he would have to start holding off some of the drivers in the Goodyear Cup. Stefan Fass involved with Theo Calve and Shane Brayton, the two drivers that were going for the title this weekend. With yellow flags out after Jamie Anderson came off the road, there was a big turning point in the race. Norbert Kish overtaking Sasha Lentz down the inside in what were officially yellow flag conditions. He carried on at the front though, but was given a five second penalty for overtaking under yellows. So he would now need to make sure he could at least get five seconds ahead of this man, Jochen Hahn, to still clinch the title. Sasha Lenz was trying everything he could to get back past Norbert Kish, but eventually he would open up the gap. Putting his foot down and knowing exactly what the task was, he started to streak away at the front of the field. That wasn't before a couple of laps though, where Sasha kept him honest, but it ultimately in the end he would go on to clinch the race win on the road at least. Behind it was Jochen Hahn and Albertetti trying to catch up, but behind all of that, the battle for the Goodyear Cup title was very, very hot under the collar. Shane Brayton and Teo Calve making multiple bits of contact, but hitting the wall was Antonio Albertetti. Ultimately though, Norbert Kish would finish first on the road, and after a five second penalty would be second, which would be enough to give him the championship, and he would be the overall 2021 FIA European Truck Racing Champion. After a very entertaining first race where we saw our overall champion crowned, it was time for the reverse grid and it was Teo Calve and René Ryder on the front row to really show us the fireworks. The Frenchman trying to overcome a gap to Shane Brereton in the Goodyear Cup. René Ryder trying to claw some points back to go higher up in the championship ahead of Anthony Janiak. It was Lachko that got a fantastic start from the second row of the grid, trying to go around the outside of Reiner and Calve. Teo tiptoed his way into turns one and two. Reiner initially taking the advantage in the first couple of corners. Calve managed to get back in front though, and suddenly there was a humongous train behind the first three. Everybody in the field was sticking very close together until Teo Calve started to make a slight breakaway ahead of Reiner and Hahn. In the middle of the field, Adam Lachko made his way past Anthony Janiak and Norbert Kish was picking them off one by one, taking advantage of all the moves happening in front of him. Stefan Fass getting a good view of the action from our rear-facing camera further down the order. Eventually, Jochen Hahn and Norbert Kish would be the ones closing in on race leader Calve, and it wasn't too long before Jochen managed to make the move at the latter part of the lap as they headed into the sunset at the end of the day. It was still very close racing down the straight though as Teo wanted to make sure there was nothing that Han could do to make his life easier. Eventually though, there was a huge queue of trucks started by Norbert Kish, Adam Lachko and Sasha Lenz all climbing around behind Teo Calve's Freightliner. The young Frenchman doing a fantastic job at holding them off, but how long could he do it for? Norbert Kish would certainly test his patience. There was bodywork flying and contact plenty. Norbert throwing everything that he could at the big era machine. At one point, it looked like Norbert was going to get it done at turn two, but Teo stood his ground time after time and made sure that he was on the inside when it mattered. Adam Latchko trying to get involved and help his teammate out, but ultimately, Nobody could stop Jochen Hahn taking his third win of the season. After a tough championship, it was great to see him back on the top step. 
congratulated by everyone in the paddock and of course his very loyal team and very loyal family. We headed into the very final race day of the season with a very familiar front row once again Norbert Kish and Sasha Lenz leading the way. They had Jochen Hahn and Adam Lachko behind them on row two. Antonio Albacete and Lucas Hahn, a real star this weekend on row three. But the action early on was between Kurzim, Calve, Fass, and just about everybody else. Big contact in a straight line as they all punched up after a slow start for some. Kurzim would receive quite a bit of damage, have a puncture and eventually retire with the left rear going down. Shane Brayton made sure that they had their championship fight on the track, but up at the very front, it was Norbert Kish getting away from Jochen Hahn. Everybody else trying to stay with them. Albacete leaving Lucas Hahn, Adam Lachko just behind. Because it would only last a couple more laps though, as the tyre going down was becoming very, very clear to him. But then the championship fight for the Goodyear Cup got even more interesting. Teo Calway also with damage and a puncture not hold off Shane Brayton any longer. The number 17 TOR truck racing team driver managing to get through before Teo realised his race and his championship were done. Shane managed to open up quite a gap to the drivers behind him as well, meaning he was in clear air all the way to the end of the race. The battle started behind though as Stefan Fass got the better of Elia Kolok after a great two lap scrap side by side. He eventually got a little bit of clean air between himself and Aaliyah, who had to then defend from Ryan Smith, just behind. Norbert Kish had his usual clean air at the front of the field, though, leading from Hahn. The other Hahn, Lucas, was having to defend from Sasha Lenz, though. He was gradually catching up and tried time and time again to get through. The trio in the middle of the field was Janiek, Reiner and Steffi Hall, who had a good fight in the couple of laps towards the end. work of plenty going flying and even completely missing in the case of Rene Reiner's truck. But ultimately, Norbert Kish would take another win on his excellent tally this season. His 11th win of the season, going very far to show how dominant he's been. But it was Shane Brayton that took the Goodyear Cup Championship title, finishing in 10th place overall. Second place in the Goodyear Cup in this race gave him enough points to claim that title. Before you knew it, it was time to end the season. The final race of the year got underway with Steffi Halm and Rene Reiner on the front row. Anthony Janiak being put to the back of the grid after one of the mechanics messed with the truck in the park in Ferme. Steffi Halm was hoping to get a podium, same too with Rene Reiner after he hadn't secured one all year. Janiak headed for the pit lane at the very beginning but everybody got things underway with feisty racing from the off. Stefan Fass here clipping Shane Brayton as they go three wide with Norbert Kish through turn two. Sasha Lenz took the lead early on with everybody piling in behind. A bit of contact with Steffi Halm and Adam Lachko. But there was more contact further back as Ryan Smith outbroke himself, made big contact with Teo Calve and the pair of them would be out of the race for good. Calvay able to recover the truck from turn eight and make his way back around the track. Further up, there's a humongous snake of trucks making their way around the final corners. This here, the view from Norbert Kish chasing down Jochen Hahn. Very close racing, as you see everybody following on from one another. But after this earlier contact between Shane Brayton and Stefan Fass, a later incident would see Brayton off the road. He would then try to recover and rejoin the circuit, but clipped the side of Stefan Fass, who went on one hell of a wild ride. Stefan would unbelievably go to recover and even get onto the Goodyear Cup podium as Shane was given a 10 second penalty. eventually gaining places on him, Albacete and Steffi Hall. Shane Brayton suffering from a bit of damage would start to chuck out plumes of smoke towards the end of the race. Goodyear Cup champion having a bit of a tough time. 
but before you knew it, Elia Kolok outdid them all with the biggest smokescreen of the weekend, her engine letting go, and unfortunately bringing out the red flag, ending the weekend and the championship one lap prematurely. Elia was perfectly fine and the truck was recovered, but it meant that Sasha Lenz was declared as the race winner, and he celebrated very, very well with his team. A great way to round out his season. Sasha Lenz very emotional there at the end of the weekend, but a very well-deserved podium for him, René Reiner and Steffi Hall. A dull German podium in MAN and two Ibicos along the way. Antonio Albertetti classified ahead of Jochen Hahn and Norbert Kisch in the end. Adam Lachko is seventh, with Lucas Hahn completing another Goodyear Cup win. A fantastic weekend for him. Jamie Anderson is ninth ahead of Stefan Fass after Shane Britton's penalty. Shane Britton takes the Goodyear Cup Championship win after a tough final race, with Alia Kolok being classified 30 seconds down and Andre Kurzin being classified in 13th place. But that is all from the 2021 FIA European Truck Racing Championship. It's been an amazing year, a really amazing experience for me, and I hope to see you all next year. Okay.